Hello everyone, my name is Kachina and I'm one of the fellows here at Milkweed Editions. As a fellow, I'm focused on learning and assisting with the various facets of publishing work and I'm really excited to be here interviewing Diane Wilson today for a number of reasons, including that the manuscript of The Seed Keeper was one of the first books I had the opportunity to read here at Milkweed. And it's so special to be able to work with a Dakota author. Diane is also an avid gardener and seed keeper, such as the title of her forthcoming novel herself. So thanks for meeting up with me virtually, Diane. Our first question is, who did you write this book for? You know, Kachina, first of all, I want to thank you for being such a, a great supporter of this work. And it, it means a lot to me to be able to work with another Dakota person on this book. So thank you for that. And thank you for these questions. Because it was really thought provoking for me to think about who did I write this book for? And I came up with um, a couple of different thoughts on that. The first is I wrote it for the seeds themselves. Because there, uh, it was a concern to me that we not lose that story about the seeds, that, that we honor and respect that relationship that has taken thousands of years to um, get to this place with human beings. And I wanted the seeds to be honored and I wanted, I wanted that story to be known. So that was the first reason for writing this book. The second was for Dakota people and broader than that native people in general, that this is our, this is an indigenous relationship that we've had with seeds for thousands of years. And I wanted to really honor the relationship that Dakota people have had with these seeds and the story that is at the heart of the book that is the way that Dakota women in particular sacrifice to protect these seeds for, um, so that we would have them to grow today. And then third, I, I wrote this book for anyone who's interested in trying to reclaim that kind of indigenous relationship not only with seeds, but with plants in the land. Our second question is, what do you value most about working with milkweed? During the 10 years that I was working on this book, I had just, I had a dream that it would end up with milkweed because I had such high respect for the work that milkweed does. Some of the, the authors who've been published by milkweed like Robin Wall Kimmerer, Richard Wagamese, Susan Power, and, and so that was a dream come true to be able to place the book with milkweed. And the experience of working with milkweed has, I would say, even exceeded my hopes in terms of the professionalism that everyone on your staff brings to this work. And to be able to work with Joey McGarvey as the editor and to have a conversation on in our very first meeting about this mutual passion that we had around seeds in this work and to feel her connection to the work all the way through so that um, it's not just publishing a book it's really bringing the vision for the for the work to fruition that's amazing to hear i love to hear that and i'm so glad that your book could find a home here at milkweed mm -hmm. what are you currently excited about in your life I'm really excited in this in this moment before the book comes out. I like to think about, I mean, it's like fledging, you fledging the book. It's gonna go out into the world now and have its own life. And that story, those stories of the seeds, the stories of the Dakota women, they're gonna go out into the world and it's gonna have, um, it's gonna have a relationship with other people. And it makes me excited to think of this book having an impact on the world itself so that you know how our stories mean so much to us and that they help us sometimes open up our hearts and our minds. And I'm excited to think that this book could have an impact on opening the hearts of, and minds of people who are doing this work in different ways. But in, in this book, the, the, the heart of that story is about getting back to relationships. So that's what excites me, that and the thought that spring is really just around the corner and we'll be planting soon. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And I love how much kinship is reflected in the book and how exciting it is to imagine and hope for kinship to grow around the book too. Yeah. 
Yeah, that, that these books can go out and make change. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do fiction. Because mm -hmm. I, I know that um, there's so much power in nonfiction, but there's something that fiction can do that no, no other form really can, which is to invite people into a story. Pidamiaye, thank you so much for spending time with me today, Diane. And thank you to our viewers for watching How It's Made. You can pre-order a copy of Diane's book, The Seed Keeper, at milkweed.org. Mm -hmm.